Well, hello, my students. So today we're going to look at some videos here. This is linear inequalities. See if you remember how to do these two. Freeze the video and then turn it back on when you graph the answer for me, please. Okay, so when it's solved for y, I think it's easier to do slope-intercept. So this is the y-intercept, this is the slope. So negative 4 is the y-intercept, put a dot here. Slope is 2, so it would be up to right 1. Up to right 1. Now notice there's no equals, so it would be a dashed boundary or line, if you want to call it that. Then we have to decide which side of the boundary do we shade. So you pick a point not on the line and put it into the inequality to see if it's true or false. So I'm going to pick 0, 0. Is 0 greater than 0 uh, minus 4? And you would say, yes, it is bigger than negative 4. So it'd be this side, the side that has 0, 0. Now, if I had to put 0, 0 in and it would have caused it to be false, I would have shaded the side that did not have 0, 0. Okay, look at this one. If you haven't graphed it yet, go and graph it now. If you have, good. Now, when it's in standard form, I think it's easier to do the intercepts. So x-intercept, put 0 in for y. So I'd have 2x and 6. So I need 3. 2 times 3 is 6. To find the y-intercept, put 0 in for x. So that term drops out. What do you multiply negative 3 by to get 6? Well, negative 2. So I'd put a dot at negative 2. Put a dot at 3 on the x-axis. That's the x-intercept. It's equal, so it's a solid line. Now, again, we have to find which side to shade. So I'm going to pick the point. Um, let's do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 0. So I do 2 times 6 minus 3 times 0. Is that less than or equal to 6? Is 12 less than or equal to 6? No. So this is false on this side, so it would be the other side. Now we have systems of inequalities. Do you remember how to do this? So again, freeze the video here, do these two problems, then turn it back on. Okay, y in a number, remember y in a number is horizontal line, slope is zero. X in the number is a vertical line, the slope is undefined. So y is greater than four, one, two, three, four. It'd be dash, because there's no equals. Greater than is above, x is less than 3, x in the number is vertical, slope's undefined, again it's dashed, goes through 3, a little bit off, and less than is this way, so the answer is here where there's a checky board pattern. For this one, Again, it's solved for y, so I would do slope-intercept. Y-intercept's uh, y 2. Slope is negative 1, so it's down 1, right 1, down 1, right 1. Solid. Put in 0 is 0 greater than or equal to 0 plus 2, and you'd say fault. 0 is not bigger than 2. Y-intercept's negative 1. Slope is a half. Up 1 over 2. Up 1 over 2.
Put in zero, zero again. Is zero less than negative one? Nope. <coughs> so that's my answer. So, hey, have a good day.